G'day. Well, I've got a new HP 9000 printer and that takes HP 920 XL uh, HP cartridges um, and here's one here, it's the yellow and I wanted to print all of my holiday photos and it started to use a lot of ink so I bought some ink with some syringes from America and it did take a long time to get here but finally got here and it's done a pretty good job of refilling the cartridges but <coughs> it but I've been very unsatisfied and just this afternoon after working away on the problem for a long time I think I have found the answer to refilling the 920 XL cartridge and I have followed my own advice my own intuition because after reading the instructions from the uh, people I brought I bought it from and after looking up all the refill instructions on the internet and after looking at the refill instructions on YouTube none of them really helped they helped a bit but I think I've cracked it and here's here is how it goes let me tell you what they told me to do first and then I'll tell you the solution that I've come up with that I think is the best firstly the cartridge I'll put it like this because sometimes it drips out of the outlet hole the cartridge I believe has a tank here just an empty tank and over here is the sponge and so when it's sitting in the uh, in the printer the tank feeds through into the sponge and then comes out the outlet hole into the uh, into the printhead um, so the manufacturer told me to simply get the ink in the syringe and gently squeeze it onto the uh, little spongy bit there and that works it probably makes the sponge uh, really wet again um, and what I what also tended to happen was that there's a little air air hole here with and it had the label over it and and ink started dripping out the back side of it um, that worked but it wasn't giving me anywhere near the amount of ink that I needed for continuous printing uh, like I wanted to print say 10 pages of color at a time and it would have done one or two so what's next then I thought I took the label off and there was a hole there and I thought okay I'll put the ink in the hole and there was, there was a hole there right in the middle and I did that and ink started dripping out the outlet hole and when it filled up uh, it would take maybe two mils um, and ink started coming out of this hole um, and by the way those little squiggly lines that you can see there which are normally hidden underneath uh, the label is I believe a continuation of the air hole out to that little point just there um, cut a long story short I think that filling through there was just as useless as filling through here so what I knew was what I felt was the most important thing that was not happening was that the tank was not getting filled maybe if I'd filled the sponge and let it wait a while maybe a day I don't know um, it would fill the tank but it just wasn't happening that this area here was empty and on the new cartridges I in fact just today I bought I've bought some new cartridges they were full 
and I wanted this to be full. There was that little hole there, in the, right that one there, um, and I, I believe that to be the original, original filling hole, but try as I might, I could not punch that through, and I don't know what, I don't know what that is in there, but um, I wasn't prepared to muck around with it. So it left me with the decision to try and access the tank. So what did I do? I got my drill out and I drilled a hole, maybe it was about two millimetre hole. Right there. And I'll just put this back on just in case it leaks. It's some blue tack to keep it sealed up. Um, and as soon as I drilled through, I could see clear through to the clear tank at the bottom. And I got my syringe and I filled it up. It took about four mils. And sure enough, if you have a look, there is now ink inside the tank, which was not there before, no matter whether I tried this way or this way. So I simply put, I filled that area up. In the future, I would not bother with that area. I would not bother, I would not, I would not bother trying to go in through there dripping ink onto the spongy pad there. I wouldn't bother with that. I wouldn't bother with the air hole up the top there. I wouldn't bother with that hole there. By the way, there was a very, very small, clear indentation, which is uh, at that point, which is where I, um, which is exactly where I drilled through. That is all I would do. I would simply drill the hole, try not to let any rubbish get inside there. That was pretty easy. Drill, just drill slowly. Um, you'll break through in a couple of seconds with a drill. Just go slow and fill it up with your ink. Put a bit of blue tack over the top. And I reckon it's done it. It's filled up the tank, then I think the tank will slowly um, will slowly impregnate the sponge here, and then it's it would appear to me to be just as good as new. Use blue tack to seal over the hole. I'm pretty sure the blue tack is fairly airtight. Um, put in your printer. Um, what did I do? I think I did a, a um, an alignment. Um, and that is it. So I hope that's helped you. Because nothing else has helped me. Uh, I think that'll work. Good luck.